Hey guys, in this lesson we will talk about proof of chemosynthetic theory and RNA world from the topic evolution. This is presented by me, Yogita Khandelwal. Miller-Urey experiment. So in our previous lesson we talked about chemical evolution of chemogeny, and this uh, the, in this Miller-Urey experiment, the Miller and Urey proved the theory of chemical evolution. So this is a setup for their experiment. So this is a closed flask in which electrodes discharge sparks that is lightning simulation. So these are electrodes and there ha in this closed flask we have mixture of gases that was present in primitive atmosphere. That was methane, ammonia, hydrogen and water vapor. So these four gases are present in this closed flask then there is a condenser and here is a water inlet and here is a water outlet then these are condensed liquid with complex molecules so the molecules that are formed because of these condensation they are present here then there is stop cocks for testing samples so uh, we can test the these complex molecules by from here then we have this heated water or ocean or we can say it is a boiling water bath and this is in these water vapors are present. So this is a setup for Miller and Urey experiment and in which they tried to create the condition of primitive atmosphere that was present at the time of origin of earth. So Miller Urey experiment called as simulation experiment. So Miller Urey experiment is also called as simulation experiment. And in your exams also sometimes questions are asked on the name simulation experiment. So don't get confused. It is same Miller and Urey experiment. So proved by S. L. Miller and Urey 1953. So chemical evolution was proved by S. L. Miller and Urey in 1953 by the help of this simulation experiment. They created electric discharge at 75,000 volts in a closed flask containing methane ammonia hydrogen and water vapor so they tried to create the condition of primitive atmosphere that the conditions that was present at the time of origin of earth so that's why they created electric discharge at 75,000 volts in a closed flask and methane ammonia hydrogen and water vapor that these gases are are of primitive atmosphere so mixture of these gases were taken in closed flask now temperature of closed flask 800 degrees celsius so they set up a very high temperature that was present that was assumed to be present on our primitive atmosphere that is 800 degrees celsius and duration of experiment was 18 days so this experiment was performed for 18 days mixture of methane ammonia and hydrogen was taken in the ratio of 2 is to 1 is to 1 2 so just remember this ratio and the name of the gases methane ammonia and hydrogen in the ratio 2 is to 1 is to 2 observe formation of amino acids glycine alanine and aspartic acid urea and fatty acid so miller and urey performed the experiment created the conditions of primitive atmosphere for 18 days and finally they got uh, the result that is they observed formation of amino acids, glycine, alanine and aspartic acid, urea and fatty acid. Sometimes question is asked in your examination like which amino acids are formed in Miller and Urey experiment. So these are glycine, alanine and aspartic acid. So remember these names. Other scientists observed formation of sugars, nitrogen bases, pigment and fats. So other scientists also performed the same experiment and they for also observed formation of chemical uh, molecules like sugars, nitrogen bases, pigments and fats. A control experiment was also performed which was devoid of energy source. So when Miller and Urey performed the experiment, uh, so they also performed a control experiment which was devoid of energy source like in the actual experiment they created uh, created electric discharge at 75,000 volts for energy but in another the experiment was devoid of energy source thus chemical evolution was more or less accepted 
so as proved by miller and ure experiment that's why the chemical evolution was accepted now rna world initial phase of molecular evolution was called rna world so uh, the molecular evolution took place but that but its initial phase is called rna world initially rna was enzyme and rna was gene there was no dna no protein rna do the function of everything so rna was enzyme and rna was gene and the because it is performing all the functions that's why initial phase is called rna world it was completely the world of rna rna was everything on template of rna dna was formed by reverse transcription so since earlier it was rna so dna is formed on the template of rna and we know it is formed by reverse transcription then on template of dna mrna form was formed which contains information of protein synthesis so after formation of dna uh, on template of dna mrna was formed which contains information of protein synthesis so that's how molecular evolution took place so first first of all it was rna that is the rna world then Uh, on template of rna dna was evolved then on dna mrna is formed and on mrna protein is formed so that's how the molecular evolution took place thus rna was primordial genetic material so that's all for this lesson thanks for watching